Hey, what's up guys? This is Oakley and we just reached 75,000 subscribers. I didn't think we'd be making this video right away. It's another one of those just kind of arbitrary milestones at a round number that you make, but it wasn't more than I think four or five months ago that we celebrated 50k. So from like over two years ago starting at zero to just four or five months ago at 50k and now, you know, the present four or five months after that we're at 75k. Um, gaining 25,000, that's 50% of what we were at originally, so that's looking good. In terms of tracking, we're doing pretty well. But yeah, I just figured let's let's touch base, let's talk. Um, and I think the way, I just the way I think I like to structure videos, <laughs> so the way we're going to structure this video is I think I want to just give my straight up opinions, talk about where things are right now, then we'll transition into what my plans might be for the future. I don't really know, I want to take your advice on it, so I'll describe to you what we could possibly do for things in the future. Um, so let's go ahead and start with my thoughts. So first of all, I want to thank you guys to, for supporting me, up to 75,000 subscribers. I never thought I'd do YouTube. Um, I myself don't really watch, oh no, that's a lie, I do watch a pretty good amount of YouTube, but I don't like, I, I don't like watch a ton of different YouTubers. I'm guessing you guys don't have it as your job to watch YouTube videos. You have a select number of videos that you like to watch and you, you know, you pick your channel and you watch those. And so I just think it's awesome. I don't know how it happened, but it's lucky that I have you guys as an audience, and I think it's cool that you're able to watch me. So I'm very grateful that, for that. I'm very grateful that I can channel my love of history and total war into a thing that we can share it all together. So I think that's been a little bit of the key to my current success is um, if you're going to do YouTube, you have to do it for something you're passionate about. You can't you can't get into YouTube for the money. You can't get into it just for clickbait. It has to be from the heart. It has to be what you love to do. Um, the enthusiasm is, I think, what bleeds through, and especially, I think, you guys connect when I do the history videos, when I get really into the massive battle videos, and I think we're all on the same channel where we both love Total War, we both love history, and we love, you know, just putting it on a pedestal, playing the shit out of it, or learning the shit out of it, <laughs> be it games or history. So I think that's kind of what's gotten us to this position. Let's go over the three pillars of this channel so far. So the first is going to be the online battles, then we have in the middle is going to be news, and then the last of the three pillars is going to be history. So I originally started with just online battles. So the online battles, the way those are structured is I just do, now I've transitioned. Instead of just doing the latest Total War game, I do all the Total War games, and I think that's that struck a good chord with you guys. You like to see the variety, it's good for my variety, I can practice, I can better those different games, and it's nice to have you know a bunch of, like a, a buffet of play styles you can go through. So that's um, the online battles. Now the next pillar in the middle is going to be news. News is a big part of this. I think it's what's gotten my success, and this is another advice to people who are doing um, YouTube, is if you're just doing gameplay, you're not going to get that many views. It's hard to, to, to ramp up. People are excited about games, people have their favorite games, and what you'll see is there'll be a new game that comes up, hype train builds, 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 builds until release, it dives down a little bit, and then you have, you know, it flutters and then it goes down in terms of attention span. Then the next game comes up. And so what it does is it does these waves of like hype for games. And Total War, as a long lived series that has a new game every couple years, what I've decided to do is follow the news. That allows me to ride the wave, and every time we ride that wave, I get more and more subscribers. I don't think it's at all clickbaity. I try and bring substance to my analysis. I try and cover as much of it up to date as possible. And it's gotten me to some cool places. I've been invited to certain press events now with CA. I think it's in a good place, and I'm glad you guys appreciate that news. Uh, in terms of the news, I cover new games. So new Total War titles and then old Total War, Total War titles if they're getting DLC or updates and stuff like that. And I think that's a good mix. I don't think it, I don't think it encroaches on the channel too much. I mean, let me know. But I don't think it encroaches on the channel too much. I think it's appropriate. Um, and then I also do news for mods, which is kind of somewhat new. But I think that has garnered some excitement for me. So I think that is going to be the news block. I really like where we're dealing with that. Uh, I should go here. Sorry, this over here is the history part. That's the third column, and that's kind of the passion. That's where the passion lies for me, and I think that's where the genuine interest and the uniqueness of this channel. Anyone can do Total War commentary. Anyone can cover the news. Um, but I don't think anyone is really doing that history, and I've discovered that there is really a need to cover history, so I'm glad I've done that. So far, um, I, I look back, and I'm like, how the hell did I do those videos? I have, um, I think it's a, a five-part series on, no, four-part series on the first Punic War, we have five-part series on Kanai, five-part series on Battle of Adrianople, we have a uh, video on the Triplex Akias, and then we have a battle on the walls of Constantinople. So, you, know, you take those three pillars, and I think that's what's garnered my success. So, advice to other people who are doing YouTube, do it for a passion, try and ride those waves of the news, 
Um, but then again, I don't want everyone trying to follow the news because it, it's a race to the bottom in terms of who can get it out first, who can do the most clickbait title. I think if you're going to try and ride that wave, try and do it substantively, chase the news down, bring what's appropriate. I've seen too many channels that just go for the clickbait titles, and I try and stay away from that. Um, and then the history documentaries, I'd love if more people do that. I know um, Attila, The Great, and other people have been inspired to do documentaries, and I've seen those crop up, so all around that's good. Uh, let's transition. I have my notes in front of me. To the next part, which is going to be, okay, moving forward, where do we go? If this has gotten us success, you know, where do we go moving forward? Because we bring in new people. There's developing sort of interests, and I have to feel out what people like. People don't really know what they like, and so we try new things. I think we've we've gotten where we have with a successful formula, and let's see how we can push it further. So in terms of new content, um, I wanted to follow up with you guys. So we have the three main pillars. How can we build on those, and how can we perhaps create a new pillar? So for the first pillar, which is um, multiplayer battles, I think you guys like that. But what I'd like to do maybe in the future that we could do is should we have more YouTuber collaborations? Do you guys like seeing that? I've started to do that a little bit more with Indie Pride, with Air of Carthage. Should I be reaching out to more people? Would you like to see YouTuber showcases with like uh, Blade Master and other? I think collabs are healthy, and I'm maybe looking to do that myself. I just want to get your, your approval, or if you think I should focus on any particular YouTubers. Um, but I think that's always a good thing to just have inner community uh, type stuff. Now, in terms of multiplayer battles, there are two types of multiplayer battles um, that I want to share with you guys. One is the Sub Commander series. That's a, that's a series I started a while ago and kind of didn't really pursue. I was just vibing it out, seeing how you guys liked it, and it seemed to have done well. For those of you who don't know what the concept behind Sub Commanders was, is you get two teams together and you set rules. So let's say we're going to be playing in Rome. The rules are that everyone is their own Sub Commander. So let's take one faction is Rome. You have one command commander who can only bring cavalry, one commander who can only bring infantry, and one commander who can only bring support units like artillery and um, skirmishers. And the fun in that is that it kind of plays like arena, but on a bigger scale. So you get the massive scale of traditional total war, but then you get the coordination and collaboration of arena. And I think that's really cool. It's a little hard to coordinate, so that's why I was hesitant to, to do more. So I'd like to ask you guys, do you want to see more of that kind of stuff. You want to see more because I think it's unique and I think there's a lot we can do if, for instance, we want to do like um, Napoleon Total War. You do sub commanders in that and then you have an entire army of just in ch like the the um, the artillery commander and he's just in charge of setting up the batteries and you have a whole army of batteries, you have a whole army of infantry, and you whole, have a whole army of cavalry. And that can be some really interesting novel dynamics that I think is really fun. Um, so yeah, let me know what you think on that. Other part that I'd like to maybe add for this um, multiplayer series is going to be the tactics. I've only made one of those videos, and the idea behind that is I, I talk about tactics separately in my videos. I'll just throw it in here and there, some advice, practical. But what I think you guys might benefit from is me selecting a specific tactic and showcasing it. If you saw my previous video, it was on like an ambush mechanic, the shifted line ambush or whatever. Um, but yeah, just show you sort of like draw it out in a plan, almost like a play in a game, like a football game or a soccer game, draw it out in a play, and then show how it works out in the real world. And I think that's an effective way to teach tactics. Uh, let me know if you'd like to see more of that. That's something I'd like to add to um, to, to strengthen this pillar over here, which is going to be the uh, multiplayer content. Um, in terms of news, I think maybe you guys would like to see more mod coverage. Let me know what, what we could add to the central pillar, which is news. I think what I'd like to maybe build into the news section is sort of not really news, but it's like giveaways. If I should build into like, for instance, with the, the Warhammer Total War new game coming out, should I be doing more of these giveaways? I already have the Dwarf giveaway meant to promote Total War, but also, you know, give back to you guys as a community. Do you want to see more giveaway type stuff? I mean... Yes, you're going to say, I want to see more free stuff, but is it something you'd like to get involved with? Because I don't want to just do giveaways. I want it to be tied to charity. Um, would you like to see more of that? What would you be interested in? Um, I hope I can bug CA for maybe giving us free giveaways. If that's true, then we could definitely do giveaways. It just I'd like to not have to pay out of pocket every time. I'll pay for shipping, but I don't want to be able, you know, be in the position to, to just buy stuff all the time for you guys. Um, i like to, but it'd be nice if CA could support that. So, so we'll see. Let me know if you want me to pursue uh, giveaways. So yeah, that's it. Oh, oh no, 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 sorry. Lastly, let's talk about the third column, which is history. Um, where we stand with history. So like I said before, we have these long-running series. And you can see over here, that's my bookshelf. I have a bunch of history uh, books. 
I think I should be expanding on the history stuff. It's a little hard for me to dive into these big multi-part battle series. They take over a month to develop, and like a month with like long nights of editing, uh, recording, all that stuff. Um, so I think the history formula needs a change. Not to say that I'm not going to do these long form videos, but I think I need to quantize history down a little bit. So for instance, what I'm thinking of doing in the future, maybe as my next series, is going to be a series on the evolution of the Roman Legion. Tracing it from the uh, before Rome was even a republic, when it was ruled by kings. So talk about the phalanx system, then to the maniple, then you know talk about like Servian reforms to the maniple, then like the Polybian legions, then transition to the Marian reforms, do empire, and go all the way to the late empire. Just like a continuum history, and that is sort of what I want to try and do now, because what it means is if if for instance I do a five part series on a battle. That's five months that you have to wait, if I'm moving quickly, of going into a battle. But if I do something more like the development of the Roman legions, we can start at the beginning, and it, it doesn't have to be one after another, right? I can focus on just a video on the early Roman legions, and you'll understand, okay, that, you know, it's a self-compacted episode where you get all the information you need, and it'd be nice to have all the pieces strung together, but they're not necessarily, you know, standing on each other's shoulders. In, 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 a, in a continuum line as opposed to a battle. So maybe you'll be seeing more of those, maybe I'll do more one-offs like I did with the um, the walls of Adrianople. I think that's cool, just like a small little spotlight and that's so much easier on me to do. Um, so yeah, I think that's maybe where I'll take history um, and then slow it down a little bit on these long big battles. Um, there's I'd love to do a lot more of those but they're really draining so I'll have to think carefully about those. Um, so yeah, that's about it, I think, for this video. I just wanted to cover the main sort of, you know, three pillars of the channel, how we can improve and build upon those, make this whole, you know, YouTube thing stronger, sturdier, and then make it enlarge it. Do we need a, do we need a fourth pillar? What could that fourth pillar be? I'd like to see your comments in the description below what you think. Um, additionally, um, question and answer session I think would be pretty healthy. I think what we should do is not only in the comments below leave your you know your answers to my questions currently but leave me some questions and maybe I'll follow up in another video so we can talk about q and it's just about me in general um, just stuff you'd be interested in outside of Total War maybe it's Total War, maybe it's YouTube advice, maybe it's job advice, I'm in the solar industry, maybe you're interested in that, engineering advice, or anything uh, it doesn't have to be advice, it could just be a question about me, what I'm doing, what my interests are, what my favorite time of day to poop is, or I, I don't care, anything like that. But I think more involvement is better. Oh, speaking of that, should I be doing more face-to-face? -face? I'm not, I haven't done blogging, vlogging stuff at all. Um, but I think it might be better for me to do more routine camera interaction with you guys. I think it's healthier, um, builds a better relationship. Uh, and I like to talk directly to you guys. I try and stay involved in the comment section. I think you guys have seen that. But maybe it's worthwhile to have more of these uh, these dialogues. Anyways, I've been rambling for, it says 13 minutes now, so I will see you guys in the next one. Please, if you made it to the end of the video, know that I love you guys, and you guys made it to the end because you're diehard, not fans I would say, but you're interested in, in what I've been doing. And it's you guys that I want to talk to right now. Um, I don't know if you know, but I am running this current charity right now to raise funds for the Foundation Against Malaria. It's to provide nets um, to save people in developing countries who have to deal with malaria issues. We're trying to ma raise money through that dwarf giveaway. If you could please head on over there. We're all sold out of perks um, for the time being, but I'm bringing in reinforcements uh, in terms of like more giveaways that I'll be setting up there. So if you could head on over there, um, please, I'd love you to support that charity. I'll be having more reinforcements in terms of additional perks coming out soon. I just want to give you the inside track on that. Um, so yeah, stay tuned for more. Anyways, thanks so much for staying to the end. Um, I guess if you stayed through the end, I can show you a little bit of my room. I mean, you stayed this long. Um, it's a little bit of a mess, but over here, you can see I got this nice long desk, and right there is going to be some of the Empire State Troops and other things that I've been holding behind. Over there is a terror geist for the vampire counts, stuff I've been accumulating, and there's more. Uh, I don't think you can see it, but just... Just, I'm on a tether here with my webcam. Just down there is a lot more models. Um, what else can I show you? I guess you guys are getting the inside scoop. I have my um, library over there. So on the top, it's more Total War related stuff. But then in the middle, um, you have Herodotus, the histories. And then I kind of trace up through history, all, all the way through Caesar to the fall of the Roman Empire through there. So I have a chronological um, set of books through the history of the Roman Empire. And then up here, 
I have a bunch of books actually just on like the Roman army, a bunch from Goldsworthy, um, Soldiers and Ghosts. Um, this this book over here, I strongly recommend if you really like this type of stuff. It's got all the uniforms of the Roman army throughout history. That's that's super cool. I would check those out um, for sure. But um, yeah, so that's cool. I have my little corner back here, which is the comfy corner, I called it. My room came with a really awkward corner. I'm like, all right, let's stick a beanbag and a bear that I have left over from college. That bear is currently drenched with, um, what does he have on him? I think tequila and Simo and it's just leftover stuff from my birthday. He got, he's he's sloshed, I think you guys would say. Yeah, he's he's, he's not doing too well. So he's... He, <laughs> He's in the drunk tank for now. Um, what else can I show you? I got this little um, nice um, Roman helmet over there, which is super sweet. And um, Imperial Gallic helmet that I got for my birthday. And uh, yeah, I hope to try it out. There's a, I'm in San Francisco right now. There's going to be like a Renaissance Fair coming soon, multiple weekends. And maybe I'm going to try and wear that thing out as, as well as some other costumes. You guys have commented that my room's a bit bare. Um, so I'm trying, to, I'm trying to work on that. I actually picked up this awesome, I don't know if you can see that, but it's like a a Playmobil artist and he puts together sort of um, the creation of man, Adam and God, like a parody from the Sistine Channel done with Playmobil. I have that and I have some other posters. Um, like um, my brother recently went to visit Hobbit Town uh, in New Zealand and he has some nice posters that he sent me like the no admittance sign from Bilbo's room. Um, I'll put that on my door. But yeah, you guys said my room is super boring. Um, so I have books here. Definitely something needs to happen around in the back. Um, but uh, yeah, and then I got my desk here, nice and big. This is where I'm sitting when I talk to you guys. The notes, blue snowball mic, um, recording, or no, this is just my headphone and stuff. Um, but yeah, cool. I figured I'd, I'd give something to you guys who stayed to the end of the video. So now, now that we've been rambling long enough, I think I'm going to sign off. And um, yeah, thanks so much for watching to the end. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.